my roommate Jeremy Stowe, and okay. we were it was just crushing everything. It was crushing the control decks, the aggro decks, <laughs> everything but zombies, which is why I have four Celestial Purge in the board. Okay. Um, I thought that Niapod would be a good option to try because we have the printing of Elvish Visionary and Thrag Tusk, sure. both of which are awesome, both to pod and to blink with Restoration Angel. Sure. So like Restoration Angel, Flash, like gain five life, make a three three, or like just draw a card for three and a white, three four flyer. That's Your awesome. own Snapcaster Mage, as it were. Right, right. Yeah. And then um, uh, what, the other thing I liked about the deck is that everybody's coming up the board with Blade Splicers and Restoration Angels, but this deck can break parity with the four Gavany Townships, so it just like activates that, and all of a sudden yeah. we all have the same creatures, but mine are huge. Yep. And then uh, Elish Norn does a very similar thing, where you just um, eventually you will be able to pot into it. Sometimes, sometimes pretty quickly with the uh, the Zealous Conscripts on tapping yeah. it, and then all of a sudden your guys are bigger and they can't yeah. win the game. Sure. I played a lot of creature decks this weekend, and they all they all died to an Elish Norn. I, I imagine. I know a lot of people were turning to Micaeus, the Lunark, and uh, increased having townships for that role. Do you think right. Elish Norn is just a little bit stronger, especially if you have pot available? A lot of bit stronger. A lot of bit stronger. A lot of bit stronger. <laughs> <laughs> I guess Adam Prozac would probably agree. <laughs> uh, the conclusion of the semifinals ended in a massive Elish Norn swing, of course. It was, it was kind of amusing because I'd named Creator with my um, my Cavern of Souls <laughs> like five turns earlier. It was like, oh, that's why. Well, there it is. Yeah. Elish Norn. Came prepared. Called it. <laughs> uh, would you make any changes to the deck, really? Or just um, run how you wanted? If people started playing Mono Blue Wizards at a, uh, at a serious level, um, I would probably add some combusts to the board. Combusts? Yeah. Sure. It's actually not that not that great of a matchup. I tested it last night when I found out that he would be my semifinals opponent. Okay. And I was like, why aren't some of these purges combusts? <laughs> but, yeah. Okay, excellent. Uh, are you going to be playing Legacy? Definitely. I'm playing Elves. Elves again? Great. Uh, finished in the finals with Elves at SCG Detroit. Have you made any changes to the list, or is it pretty Yeah, much I'm main same? decking a Scavenging Ooze. Scavenging uh, I cut a Heritage Druid. That card's like the worst card in the deck. I cut a Pri Priest of Titania. It's really bad against Rug, because it never lives ever. Sure, yeah. Um, just some subtle changes like that. All right, excellent. Uh, do you know anything about this area? Like, what kind of legacy decks we should expect? In St. Louis? In St. Louis. Uh, well, we're in the Midwest, and so people travel for a bit around. You can, you can, I mean, it's like legacy anywhere. You can play against basically anything. All right. Well, hopefully you do well against the anything. Maybe even try and get in a second one of these. So we're going to throw back to a break now. Uh, the SCG Live booth is going to be back coming for round three of the Legacy Open. But until then, you're going to be seeing some sweet replays. Caleb, good luck. Congrats. SCG Live is brought to you by StarCityGames.com. And in case you haven't heard, you can now qualify for a StarCityGames.com Invitational through Invitational Qualifiers held at your local gaming store. Whether you are a player looking for an Invitational Qualifier near you, or a store owner interested in hosting one of these exciting events, you can learn more by emailing scgiq at StarCityGames.com or visiting StarCityGames.com slash IQ.